Well, if that's the case then, uh, one would expect from a Genesis model that that thin layer of mud in between would contain fossils, but do we Actually, find fossils Actually, sometimes in there? it does. And when it does, it almost invariably are marine fossils. Uh -huh. Now that's really weird. Where yeah. are the marine fossils sure. come? So you yeah. got this forest, this swamp that was mm -hmm. destroyed on the land, and then got this mud that comes in with fossils from the ocean. Yep. Uh, and, and then somehow after this deposit was made, a new forest grew without disturbing that yes. one inch yeah. thick layer. Yeah. How do you grow trees mm -hmm. in the mud layer now? Right. This makes no sense. However, if you've got the concept of this floating log mat, mm -hmm. then the log mat can drop a pile of uh, yes. bark in, can float off, be blown off to another area. You can have marine mud or non-marine mud, whatever. I mean, you could come in and deposit. Then the log mat floats back over the area, deposits more bark, mm -hmm. and then floats away. And you could repeat this any number of times in any, any yeah. sequence you want. And again, you explain all the features found in coal seams. Flat yeah. bottoms, flat uh -huh. tops, seats with flat bottoms, flat tops, even marine fossils in there. It can, yeah. It's all easy, except for one thing.